And that's what we're trying to do, is show you some things that you can overlook, especially if you get up in the big cities and you forget that there's a whole world out here of exciting things. And it's really nice that we got folks like Xmark that recognize it. They're not sitting here pushing just a lawnmower down your throat. Obviously, they make fine ones. But to let you know that there's some things out here in the country, in your backyard, that's important. <laughs> you, think that, you think that could help? Man, that, that, that. I could see where you seem to have a, a lot of tools around here. That's that, that country inside I got. <laughs> It says lighter fluid on the bottle. Which would be fluid that you could light. Yeah, but I don't know if that's fire or like a light light. Let's that's see. Not, I don't even know if this that's is the same. Yeah, let's see if it works. Oddly enough, Blake is right. If you use lighter fluid, to light a flyer, it works. And that's the benefits of lighter fluid. And we're gonna carry that conversation on to the benefits of wild game. And we're gonna show you how to really make some unbelievable steaks out of backstrap from a doe I just killed a couple days ago. Already beginning with good benefits of lighter fluid, now wild game. Mm -hmm. You got something going on. So I was gonna cook a little back from that Oklahoma dough. I was literally thinking of just a little, just keep them pretty, pretty raw, like a little olive oil on the top, mm -hmm. like some, some, some little dry season, something. It could be just salt and pepper. Out here on this hooray, one of the funnest grilling experiences a man could have. I love charcoal, lump charcoal, but if you got some access to oak, mesquite, I love pecan wood. It just adds to the experience. Get you a good fire going and let that burn down to a bit bed of coals, just like you would your charcoal. In this case, we're going to cook some wild venison, an Oklahoma deer. It's so amazing how simple. It is. A lot of times people think it's so hard to get wild game to taste flavorful because you think you got to marinate it. You think you got to do all these things and soak them overnight and different things to take the wild flavor out. And we're about to show you a very simple, beneficial way to enjoy wild game. And in this case, I think deer meat, venison is some of the best meat ever. It's lean, it's so good. And we're going to show you just how simple it is to make it delicious that anybody would enjoy eating it. So this is the back strap out of a whitetail doe. And actually this is just half of the back strap. So there's two and we took all the sinew off real simple. The only thing that we did do is left this soak and then some ice water and a little bit of salt, kind of a brine, but it actually helps bring a little bit of the blood out of it and uh, it's, just, it's just good to do. But you can do that with any meat. But in wild game, I think if you get a little of that blood out, any sinew, any fat, it just makes it better. So now that you got it like this, you can cut it whatever you like a steak to be. Just cut it however in the thickness. You know, if you like it a little thicker, you can cut it thicker than that. For me, that's about like I want it, like, like a little, almost like these are great little hors d'oeuvres from an inch to even a half inch is perfect. But you basically got just a perfect little mignon. And it is good, just green red meat. A lot of people like to cook them whole, just take that whole back strap, or in this case it's half, but I just think you got a lot more control of it. Cooking it wise, you can sear it, cook it real fast. And it's the simplest, most delicious thing you'll eat. But look at that. Here's where, in my opinion, I think people get astray a little bit on the wild game cooking. You feel like, by nature, because it's wild, you gotta marinate it a lot and do a bunch of stuff to it. Obviously, we have let this soak in ice water. And, uh, but when it comes to seasoning, 
it's just straight venison and all I do is basically take a little olive oil and make sure it's got a little on both sides because in a perfect world wild game I, I prefer even elk or moose or anything is to get all the fat off about the only fat that I've seen that I really think is tasty for me now this is personal preference is maybe a, 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 mo a bison a buffalo whatever you want to call it depends on what level of ishy you into when it comes to the old school but I call it a buffalo heck it's pretty decent fat on the buffalo but some of this wild game it gets real bitter the fat does but literally a little olive oil on both sides because it ain't got it ain't got a lot of it ain't got a lot of fat or oil in it it's pretty pretty lean meat actually very lean meat so just a little olive oil on both sides and the only thing I do in black pepper and salt is just as good, but one of my favorite. Actually, Blake had this sitting over yonder is this Montreal steak. I think it's some of the best seasoning. And all I do is just take a little of that right there. And just put some on both sides, just about as much. If you somebody likes kind of salty and a little more seasoning on top, but literally both sides. And you'll be surprised at how many fancy restaurants cook a steak. And they're either using a little bit of that Montreal steak or exact same ingredients. You know, I'm not sure exactly what's in it. You can read the back of it, but it's just something I, I mean, I just always buy this stuff and it is just so good. And so that's it. We didn't marinate. We ain't got a bunch of liquid marinade. That's gonna go right on the grill and we're gonna sear it real hot cook it rare, and eat it. And it's gonna be delicious. That's the benefit of wild venison. Hot bed of coals. Look at there, look at there, look at there. I don't know the noises that these chefs make. So we're going to throw them all on there, sear them real good. The trick is to cook them fast and to not cook them too done. I think you almost cook them like you think about like you're cooking tuna. Almost like sear it real good. Ooh, smells so good. And just to remind you, we haven't marinated this in anything. This is just a back strap that just a night ago that we took out, soaked it in ice water and a little bit of salt. It's not marinated anything, it's just a little olive oil. In this case, you know, your favorite dry seasoning that you put on top. There is a misconception about wild game. And maybe some wild game, you do have to put a little bit more effort into it. Like, I've never been somebody who's had great success cooking duck. But if you like that kind of meat, then obviously there's a lot of simple ways to cook it. But I love venison. For me, elk and deer are so good. And I think that in some cases, the more simple you go about it, the better it is. Did you just look at it? This is what I was talking about. I, I personally like the backstrap better than the tenderloin. To me, the backstrap has less gamier taste than the tenderloin, but that's my opinion. There, a lot of people argue that on, on, on venison, on venison. But I like my favorite steaks. I love like a New York strip. Love them. We've seared them on both sides. Look at this. See, I shot just a little pink in there.
That is good. Yeah, good. Who knew? Who would know it? Who would know it? No one would believe it. Nobody would believe it. Nobody would believe it. The camera hadn't moved. I don't know if it's any good or not. <laughs> Sometimes the most fine things in life are the simple things in life. And that's what we're trying to do, show you some things that you can overlook, especially if you get up in the big cities and you forget that there's a whole world out here of exciting things. And it's really nice that we got folks like Xmark that recognize it. They're not sitting here pushing just a lawnmower down your throat. Obviously, they make fine ones. But to let you know that there's some things out here in the country, in your backyard, that's important. Because check this out. Just some fine venison from an Oklahoma deer. And it don't get much better. It don't get much better. Simple, easy. Everybody has access to wild meat. There's public land, there's private ground. The Lord's renewable resource is out there in abundance. It's simple, it's easy, and it's for us. It's for us. It's great. And we celebrate it. I love it, baby. Let's go eat. Oh, and by the way, if you like these things, we hope you do, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching our content. We also appreciate the comments because if there's things you want to know more about or if there's things that might make you laugh or want to know about, man, please let us know, man. We read all the comments and we certainly appreciate it, man. 